As for your question, I don't know how Dane managed to slow the deterioration of his body. My appearance is much changed, and that's not the only thing. Even my physical strength is a shadow of what it once was. I would have never known. During our battle, it felt like I was fighting against the pinnacle of human strength. <laughs> and I still lost. I deserve no praise for that outcome. Still, it's a shame we never faced off 500 years ago. We could have seen what I was truly capable of. I agree. Had we fought then, I'd also have been more motivated to go all out. So, all that commotion back at the stadium and you're saying neither of you were using your full strength? <laughs> I'd say we're evenly matched. If we face off again, victory will come down to who wants it more. I imagine you held back since there were spectators around that could have gotten hurt. But capitalizing on that situation would have only led to a hollow victory. It would have been no different than taking hostages. My goal was the Gnosis, and I failed to obtain it. That means I lost, plain and simple. Her Majesty the Tsaritsa allows every Harbinger the freedom to pursue the meaning of their existence. When the time comes, that freedom can take precedence over her orders. That's why our methods can be so radically different. Despite sharing the same goal and the same sovereign, I needed the Gnosis because I came here to save Natlan. That was my primary motive. Once Natlan is saved, if the Gnosis still remained in my possession, I could bring it back to Snezhnaya. My decision regarding the Gnosis will not change, so let's focus on the Abyss for now. <laughs>